Okay. Hi, uh, I'm Sasan Karanasinghe and I'm a PhD research fellow at the University of Stavanger, Norway. And I'm in my first year of uh, PhD. Uh, so uh, today I'm going to present about my PhD project. Uh, my PhD project is titled Optimizing Energy Consumption in Industrial Buildings. So this is the outline of my presentation. First, uh, I will introduce uh, briefly about what is uh, energy management systems and then uh, what, we, what we mean by in building energy optimization. Then I will present my motivation and the methodology uh, I'm going to uh, achieve. So first, let's see what is building energy management system. So building, uh, if we consider an industrial building, we have lots of uh, office spaces, laboratories and uh, systems. So, and also we have like uh, several energy related systems such as uh, heating, ventilation and air conditioning systems as well as surveilling systems and the security systems. So it's uh, better to have an entity that can uh, monitor and control all this, all these systems. Otherwise, uh, someone has to uh, monitor but all the systems manually. So uh, that's why we need a uh, building energy management system. So building energy management system is a computerized system designed for monitoring and controlling energy related building services. So why we need a building energy management system? So uh, here I have mentioned five key benefits of building energy management system. Uh, it helps, this uh, building energy management systems helps to reduce the running cost of the building, energy consumption of the building and the uh, CO2 emission of the building as well. So uh, normally yeah, it's stated that the building energy management system can control approximately 84% of the total building energy consumption. But the problem is these building energy management systems are uh, implemented normally in larger facilities. So uh, it's, it's not like uh, used in like small buildings. And then fourth one is the minimize maintenance and repair cost. I, I may, uh, stated this because this building energy management systems also connected with an alarm systems. So because of that, the, if, if something is going to uh, malfunction, these alarm systems can uh, inform the BEMS to uh, bit earlier so that the uh, system uh, building users or the building managers of the building can uh, do some maintenance or uh, replace uh, the faulty equipments or the system before it caused a really big problem. So uh, building energy optimization is a process of identifying optimal design that minimizes the cost of energy consumption in the building while increase the thermal comfort of the building users. So then I will talk about the objective and the research questions of my PhD research. The uh, objectives of my research is to find possible strategies for an energy consumption optimization in an industrial building having office spaces and laboratories. I use this because I am working with in collaboration with an industrial partner called Veni and they own an energy system with uh, seven buildings, including a hotel. And also they are planning to uh, build two smart buildings for their system as well. So uh, for my research uh, and in their uh, system, the one building has really high energy consumption. So my main focus is uh, to build a model, develop a model uh, to reduce the energy consumption while reduce the energy cost of that building especially. And then uh, we, uh, we're planning to go for the smart buildings and then uh, 
we, uh, I'm planning to develop a model uh, represent an energy management system for a smart building. Then lastly, we're planning to expand the model to the cluster of smart buildings. So the, this is the proposed framework for my uh, research. Uh, here I have mentioned several modules. Uh, such as input data, data handling, machine learning model. So for the input data, uh, we have considered the building energy consumption data, temperature sensor data of the building. And as the uh, external data, we are considering the ambient temperature, wind direction, as well as number of occupants in the building. So then, uh, we go for the data handling module. Uh, we, after we uh, collecting the data, we, we uh, store the data in a CSV file and we do some normalization data. The problem I have faced in this uh, part of the research is that uh, they actually don't collect data beforehand. So I have only a limited number of data available for the research. So. Uh, and also the resolutions of the data, because uh, normally I have half an hour resolution data, but with the number of occupants and the weather data, I don't have the same resolution. And also there are clearly lack of information and missing information in some particular days. So then uh, my next step is to select develop and machine learning model. So before go for the machine learning model, uh, uh, we did some technical survey to see what are the existing models we uh, used in the building energy management, opti energy optimization. So uh, with these, uh, in there I have found some machine learning algorithms and then uh, I used uh, some of these algorithms to my model. And also for the training and optimization uh, part, I'm also planning. I'm uh, planning to go for a neuroevaluationary algorithm, which is a quite new one. So neuroevaluationary algorithm is uh, uses evolutionary algorithms to train the neural networks. Normally, they use a generic algorithm for the training. And uh, this, uh, by incorporating neuroevaluationary algorithm, it provides more flexibility, and it also can generate interpretable rules, which explains the decisions uh, or the outputs of the uh, model. So then, uh, with uh, we go for the seven day or one week ahead prediction for this system, and also we are planning for developed and scheduling algorithm. Uh, the reason for this uh, scheduling algorithm is that uh, because this is uh, the particular building I'm considering is that an office building with some laboratories. So the main problem they have is that uh, especially in Monday mornings, everyone comes to the offices and switch on their electrical devices. So uh, because of that, uh, the energy system has really high peak load, especially in the Monday mornings. So we need to, uh, this cost uh, really high. So because of that, we need to do some uh, peak shaving. Uh, in order to do some do, uh, peak shaving, we uh, initially plan to develop and scheduling algorithm. So this is uh, one of the equations I have developed for the optimization of HVAC system. HVAC means heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. Normally, when we consider about a building, uh, the most of the energy consumption uh, is uh, because of this HVAC system. So here I have only considered heating and cooling, and also, uh, because uh, we need to uh, think of the thermal comfort inside the building uses. We are said, uh, we plan to uh, take, the, take into consideration of the temperature as well. And since this is an industrial project, so I also need to consider the cost of energy. 
especially so the and here also I have considered two types of loads. That's a fixed power consumption, fixed load and the flexible load. So uh, for the fixed load, I mean the uh, surveillance and security systems, which are really critical systems in a building. Uh, you can't switch, uh, cut off the power to those systems in the buildings because then it uh, doesn't uh, make up to your purpose. So for the flexible consumption, uh, as the flexible consumption power devices, so I have uh, uses uh, as an example for a printer. So you you, you don't need a printer like uh, at the in you don't need to switch on the printer in the Monday morning, which is the really uh, high energy consumption. So you can like uh, delay the switching switch on these uh, non-critical devices a bit later. So with that, uh, maybe we can reduce the energy consumption. Uh, so thank you for the listening. And uh, I know it's like a bit uh, quick, but if you have questions, I'm happy to answer them.